In this video, I'll be talking about the basic definitions and ideas around the gradient and directional derivatives. Directional derivatives are just what they sound like. You're finding a rate of change of a function of two variables in some specific direction. So here is an initial definition of directional derivative. Well, I'm starting out with a function of two variables, and I have some point in mind where I want to take the directional derivative. And we usually specify directions using unit vectors. So I'll write down u here will be a unit vector in two dimensions. And here's the notation. for the directional derivative of f at the point a, b in the direction of u, which we think of as the rate of change of f in the direction u at the point a, b. Well, one way we can give a definition of this is is a little drawn out and we'll have a better definition later or a better formula later I should say. We begin by thinking about f and then just plugging in the line through the point a b that goes in the direction of u. So the way that we've already seen how to do that we're sort of starting at the point a b and we add multiples of, of the vector u. So maybe I should be using a position vector here to be consistent. So I'm, I'm plugging in the values of this line. This is the line passing through a b with direction direction vector u and I want to take the derivative of this at time t equals zero. And this is sort of the long drawn out definition of directional derivative, but I hope it gives some idea. We're just looking at the values of f on this line, and we want to take the derivative of this, the derivative of this one variable function. And, and we can do that uh, using the chain rule. So I'm saying the directional derivative in the direction of u is given by the derivative of this function here. I'm plugging in a plus t times u1 comma b plus t times u2. And I want to evaluate this at t equals 0 because that's when I'm at the point AB. And by the chain rule, we have df dx at AB times the derivative of this function with respect to t is just u1 plus df dy at AB times the derivative of this function with respect to t at t equals 0 which is just u2. So here is a better formula for the directional derivative. And let me write this in one other way. And at the same time, I'll be able to define the other topic of this video, which is the gradient. So we can think of this as a certain dot product. The partial, I, I can define a vector here as the partial of f with respect to x, comma, the partial of f with respect to y, dot u1, u2, because this is exactly what I have. I have partial of f with respect to x times u1, partial of f with respect to y times u2. And now, well, this part is already, we know that better as u. And this part is the gradient. So we write this with an upside down delta. We have, and since we're evaluating at the point AB, I should write it this way. 
and and well this is the gradient and it gives us initially just a nice formula for the directional derivative but as we'll see it has important uh, geometric properties but just to be clear the gradient of a function of two variables is this vector valued function sort of the first example of a vector valued function of two variables that you've seen so the gradient is just this so let me do a quick example of some of these things so if I have f of xy equals x cubed e to the y, well, the gradient is going to be well, on the first component of the partial with respect to x, which will be 3x squared e to the y, comma, the partial with respect to y, it'll just be the exact same thing. So that's the gradient in this example. Now if I want to do something very specific Let's say I want to find the directional derivative in the direction of this unit vector. And something I maybe didn't emphasize enough before is that we always use unit vectors with a directional derivative. If I want to find the directional derivative in this direction of f at the point, say, 1, 1, by the formula I already showed you, that's the gradient evaluated at 1, 1, dot product, this vector u. In this case, I have, if I plug 1 in here, I'll get 3 times e, comma, just e, dot product, uh, 1 over root 2, comma, 1 over root 2. And adding all this up, we end up with 4 e over root 2, which is 2 root 2 times e. And I'll stop there.